Yes guys, my name is Morsi and welcome back to my channel. So Wednesday night and that means one thing in my eyes, a brand new Silver Star player to grind away via the objectives in FIFA 21. And this week we got another Brazil with to try out. It's a Portuguese league striker who goes by the name of Rodrigo Pino. So to unlock Rodrigo himself is the usual mumbo jumbo guys, we've got to win 3 matches via the foot friendly silver lounge, score 8 goals and assist 6 goals. Straight away looking at the card stats, I don't know really what to expect, he doesn't look anything spectacular, looks very similar to Jao Pedro, who I believe was the first team of the season silver star card. EA are loving the Brasilva theme right now, they are picking it and they're rolling with it and I'm all for it. As long as this guy has skill moves, I'm a happy boy, but let's go check out his attributes and his in-game stats, please come with a 5 star skiller. Oh dearie me, Rodrigo Pino is 6 foot 1, medium medium, he's left footed and he's only got 3 star 3 star, it's, this is not good. I'm not confident about this card one bit, the past two team of the season silver stars have been absolutely insane, we had Maxim and we had the Saudi man, Al K, I can't remember his name, apologies for that, but he's an absolute baller, he's in this team, you're going to see in a second. But 3 star, 3 star, okay, as long as he's got decent dribbling stats and he's not going to be super super clunky, which is kind of what I'm predicting him to be like now. If we go over to the attributes and yeah, we've got Clunk Central. So 79 agility and 72 balance is pretty shocking. We've got 85 dribbling, which is quite nice. To be fair, the rest of the dribbling stats are really good. The reactions, the ball control, the dribbling are pretty damn good for a silver, especially six foot one. Considering his agility and balance are shocking. The shooting stats are pretty phenomenal. The 94 shot power, 87 finish and 86 attack positioning. There may be some of the best shooting stats I've seen so far on a silver card. So, there is potential, boys. He's got 90 penalties, which is also nice. The passing stats look good for the link-up play. And the pace is a little bit on the low side, but it is slightly boosted by an engine chem style. Not really anything too spectacular. Heading out because he's there, the strength is there, the jumping, the stamina is pretty low. Overall, it's pretty underwhelming. But we're not going to judge a book by its cover with this guy, guys. We're going to give him a proper run out in today's video and test him to see if he is better than what the stats are portraying him to be. In regards to the player traits, we got long shot taken, which is a CPU AI trait. So not really anything too incredible, but let's meet the team he's going to be rocking with in today's video. I'm not going to lie, I do love it when EA release a new Brasilva team this season, Silver Star, because he fits in perfectly to my team. We're rocking the Samba Star boys and our main man Wallace, who's an absolute unit. All of these, of course, are five star skillers. I love a five star skiller. You know the drill by now. I'm disappointed that Rodrigo is not a five star skiller, but we move forward. This is the man I was on about earlier, the Saudi team this season card, Mohamed Al K. Absolutely big. Uh, mate, guys, this guy, honestly, might be the best silver card I've used this year. I mean, I've used a lot. If you've been around my channel for a while, you would know that I've, I've used a lot of silver cards, guys. It's kind of been my bread and butter throughout this year. That is mainly what I focused on on my channel. But this guy, if you've not unlocked him, are lucky because he's class. The rest of the team are the usual suspects. We've got Scott Dan, Twan Zabi, Mr. Darlow and Dallas. But my bench is stacked, guys. One thing I wanted to say, if you guys do want to see a video where I go through all the silver cards I've got because my club is uh, it's about three squads worth at the moment, guys. Every silver star we've unlocked, every SBC we've unlocked, a lot of the cards I've bought off the market. So if that's something you guys do want to see, let me know down below. Maybe in a few weeks towards the end of the, the game cycle, it's maybe something I look to do. We'll try and build the greatest silver team on FIFA 21. Once we've got all the cards available to us, we'll go out and build the best, best team. That sounds like a decent video to me. In regards to custom tactics, we're going through our usual silver, uh, silver star setup. Pressure on heavy touch, five whip and seven depth. Formation is 442 brackets two. This was my go-to for pretty much majority of the year. I have kind of strayed away from it now. I'm liking the 3-5-2 and the 4-1-2-1-2 at the moment. But we're rocking the 4-4-2 for this one. Rodrigo, Pino and Al Kawikikibi are up top. The two boys, Pino is left footy, so he's on the left-hand side. We're going to test that as finesse shots. So just try to shoot as much as possible. I really hope he's an absolute beast in front of goal. Dallas and Wallace are going to hold down the midfield. Marcus Andre on the right and then Dalbert on the left. Before I get into the gameplay, I just want to take a little look at some of the Silver Super League cards that we have available at the moment. These two look crap, by the way. Your hair may we've used a few times. Sangaru we've used a few times. Quality looking cards. And I feel like EA may have missed out an opportunity to truly jack up a card in the Silver Star department. Because some of these would have been beastie. Even if we got Palkas, the Greek man. I mean, I might be judging, you know, too far ahead. I don't know how good this guy is going to be. But I'm just saying there was potential for some saucy looking card. 
uh, especially this man. If this guy had got a silver team this season, a silver star, I would have been absolutely loving life. And that's another thing. Do we get a silver team of the season this year, guys? Is that coming out soon? I don't know how this works. I mean, we're getting one every single week, so that might be what EA is giving us. But I want a full team. A full team of silver star team of the season cards. That'd be beautiful. Anyway, guys, I'm going to hop into some gameplay, some silver lounge. I'm going to compile all the clips into a little montage, truly test out our main man, Rodrigo Pino. Hopefully, he's an absolute baller and a lethal finisher. As I said, I compile all the clips into a montage and I catch up with you. So then guys, Rodrigo Pino, 3 star, 3 star, Mr. Clunk Central himself, is he any good? He kind of was, you know, he obviously is clunky on the ball, That you expect that, with super low agility and balance, even though it's juiced up with the uh, engine chem style, the rest of the dribbling stats do help him out. That goal he scored, I believe in the third game, where he kind of kept the ball, swift turn, did the man and buried it on his right foot. That was decent, pretty respectable, but he's not super agile, but that is what you expect from this card. As a hold-up man, alongside Al Koe Kikibi, whose name I've butchered 59 times during this video, he does a job perfectly. The pace is a little bit on the low side, but it's not the end of the world. The shooting, guys, the shooting. This guy may be the most lethal silver card I've used all year. The power's ridiculous. The left foot finesse, we took two. Two left foot finesse shots, both of them went to the back of the net, so that says it all right there. So yeah, the shooting stats are really nice, the passing stats are nice, the card is good, however it is massively against the meta, and the lack of skill moves is very disappointing. So for the rating guys, he's going to get the lowest rating I have done all year, a solid 5 out of 10. There's many reasons why he's getting a 5 out of 10, the skill moves, the weak foot, the agility, the balance, you know, the pace. Pretty much majority of the stats are kind of, you know, pretty disappointing, especially for me and the way I like to play. But he is an alternate option. He's something a little different, something we don't have yet in the silver special card department. The full on target man, we had that Italian guy, Tara Grossa or something, ages ago, but he was shocking. I mean, this guy is a juiced up version of that man, and he is going to score goals for you if you do rock him in your team. But I would definitely prefer myself, Mr. Jao Pedro, if I had to choose between the two. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed as always. If you're new around here, please do consider dropping me a subscription. I'm pushing the 2,000 subs. That is the big, big goal. And we have just been partnered on YouTube. So I just want to say a massive thank you to all of you for the support recently. You're smashing it and I'm loving every second of it. Drop me a like, leave me a comment, let me know what you think of Mr. Rodrigo Pino here. I'll catch you very soon for another video. Take it easy, guys.